everyone. Welcome to Watch It, Paint It. I'm back. For, uh, it's been a while since I've done a, you know, a subscription box unboxing. No, apologies, that's just an outright lie. I can't help when they arrive though, but this is another subscription box opening. This is Model Boxers one for this month, for, for May, I expect. I think it always runs in the past. It's quite confusing when they, are, they arrive because it's like the end of the month. Is it for the next month or the previous month? I think it's always for the previous. Anyway, this is War 2.0. So apparently they did one before, before I'd ever heard of them. So this is the second one. It's got one of their exclusive miniatures that they do in here. So I'm pretty excited to get a hold of that. Um, if you don't know what this is, it, as I mentioned every video, it's similar to Loot Crate, but this is for miniatures and models. It's also similar to Asset Box, but Asset Box is more aimed around giving you a bunch of you know, paints. This is more aimed around giving you some miniatures, some models to paint. They normally include some paint and some accessories. And recently, this has been getting really, really cool. I've been getting lots of basing material, which I don't have any of, so I'm really, really excited for that. And as I mentioned, this has got one of their exclusive miniatures, and the last one was one of probably my favorite miniatures. I've not painted it yet, because I'm always busy. We're always busy, right? So that's one downside. I'm, I'm too busy to paint the awesome miniatures they provide, but the fox is on my to-do list, and I'm really, really looking forward to doing it. And this is apparently has got another fox in it from the range to do with war this time. I'm pretty excited to see that. Anyway, I'm going to do an unboxing. In the description below, I will link you to the first video I did that explained the subscription model, just in case you're unfamiliar with that. Let's see what is in this. And I didn't get a knife ready, but I've got a scalpel. So, uh oh, that was like a bit haphazard how quickly I just pulled that out. Let's uh, pop open this, cut the sellotape down the side, sellotape down this side. Carefully does it. How far I've come with like my health and safety. I'm now looking under the camera to do this so I don't stab myself. I'm gliding that really slowly. <laughs> and we're in. Right, you guys ready? I'm ready. As, as always, as I mention every time, it's been on my desk all day. I have to wait till the evening. You know, we all have real jobs as well. I have to wait to open this. And I'm, oh, I'm always itching. That's my favorite part. Yeah, I think that is my favorite part about these subscription boxes, the excitement in waiting to open it. Second one is discovering new things. And here we go. I was right. Oh, okay. So first of all, I was I was wrong. It is for June. We're in June. Oh, my God. Guys, I'm just so tired. I don't even know what month it is. Apologies. I thought it was still May. So asset box you, box you get for the previous month, so you get May's in June. But model box... They're, they're on it. You get it in the middle of the month for this month. So I won't look at this, but again, nice leaflet. It's going to summarize some things for us. I'll keep that there. No doubt I'll have to jump to it, but I just like guessing what stuff is. That's part of the fun for me. And I like you guys to mock me in the comments because I know so little. So we're going to start off with this little guy. What is it? This is a mm, Stoces Heroes. So this is all going to be based around war. As I said, it's the war 2.0. This is a Japanese general. Is this? What's that? Is that? Is that an actual person? Is this a historic little guy? I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't have any war games. You know. I think um, a lot of my stuff is medieval based. So this is a pewter model. Wow, he's got a little. Oh, you've you got to assemble him. Let's have a look. If I can get rid of that glare slightly, but his hand is detached. His gun's detached. His other hand is detached, and one of his shoulders his a uh, bicep is detached you've got to build him up and there was no base in that so that's awkward for me because as i mentioned i don't have any bases except what model box have sent and they're often like 60 mil <laughs> so he's gonna look a bit silly on that but he looks nice it's pretty detailed so japanese general by a brand i've never heard of what do you do with these war figures? Do you play war games? Can you play them in any old war game? I understand normally the figures you get, you can play in like Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. D&D, &D, right? And then, ooh, ooh. So this is, it. wow, the model box. This is the, the exclusive, I'm guessing. Yeah, exclusive to model box customers. It's not a toy, guys. Not a toy. It's a shame I love toys. But this time it's metal. This time it's in packaging with a logo and everything. I think last time it was in a little baggy. Let's have a look at this. Let's just cut to the chase. And as I mentioned, that fo that fox wizard, whoo, one of my favourite miniatures. And I just need to make some cards so I can play it with you know zombie side and games I actually play. But I'm definitely going to do that. I'm definitely going to have some cards made up. And then away I'll be able to go. So this one gets a base. 
not messing around with this one. Decent base, quite big for sort of a 28 mil. Let's have a look at this. Oh, nice. Got a bit of, I think that's either something coming out of his face or it needs a bit of tidying up. Definitely a bit of tidying up in the helmet, isn't there? His little ears are coming out of his helmet. That, I hope you can see that, but that is pretty cool. A little fox, uh, fox soldier. You've got to glue his arm on. Oh, here we go. Right, so that slots in there. Boop. Or doesn't slot in there. Have to tidy up that as well. He's got an arm. He's got a little machine gun. His tail's out at the back as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. If you like anamorphic stuff, that's pretty cool. And if you've got use for soldier, I need to get a clip up. Fire Team Zero. Welcome to Fire Team Zero, little fox. If I ever get that game, <laughs> I don't even have Fire Team Zero. I'm just painting the uh, the models because they're pretty awesome. Let's have a look at some more models. Wow, that is a lot of packs for you by Sebastian A. Any questions? Yes? What are these? So I email and be like, hey, I got some models. What are they? I'm being silly. I can just look in that booklet that came with it. It does that is literally all it says, but it's Warlord Games. And oh, loads of foam. It's super padded. I don't know how many of these there are. What are they? They look like little stick men. I don't know. What are they? We've all got there's a bunch of different stances, but essentially they're like all little dudes with <laughs> spikes. Stick, but they're not even spiky, they're just sticks, little stick fighters. Somebody let me know what they are in the comments below. What were you them for? You've obviously got some sort of battalion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You've got ten of those guys. So if you had a use for them. You get a whole army of little stick soldiers. They've not even got guns. What's going on? It's out of control, out of control. Well, that's, that is a lot of weight to that. There's definitely a bunch of those in there. So, so we've got a general that was cool, a, a battalion of somethings. That I'm not, oh, there's something here that's going to explain that. I think it got repackaged. Warlord Games. Oh, so these are the bases that can go on, but they're also 28 mil bases. So if I don't use them, it's irrelevant because I've got some bases at last. I'll be able to just do stuff. This is quite good because it's got a little lip as well. So that'd be handy, you know, when I'm filling it with something, if, you know, mud and grass and stuff. It's just that lip will just make it look that bit neater, like the base isn't part of the mud or whatever I put on. So that's pretty cool. Let's put some on this side. Sweeties. Oh, some Haribo. Haribo is always good. Little gummy bears for Benson. That'll keep him, keep him happy. Giving you two paints as well. Panzer series, nice. I was thinking these are a bit warlike, aren't they? So these are Vallejos. Uh, these are the model colours. So these aren't the ones you can use as primer. Uh, this is like one of my favourite colours. I don't know why. Look, the desert yellow. What's it called here? Japanese uniform, World War Two, and were they no? And the Panzer series. So you got a couple of uniform green. You got a couple of army based colours for the war theme, and then. And you got this folded up. Ah, that's why. Okay, look at that. This came in a huge, a huge box, right? So this has been folded down to fit in the box because this is only so big and it sends out the same size. There you go, 10, 28 mil, World War II miniatures. Aha, uh -huh. right, this explains a lot. <laughs> so they are supposed to be spears. They just weren't sharp, but I guess that would be pretty dangerous, right? Like, for just stabbing myself on little tiny pretend metal spears. So, Jam Japanese Bamboo Spear Fighter Squad. Bolt action. <gasps> I've heard of that. That's like, it's like, uh, what's the other thing? Warcraft. War Warhammer. Warhammer. It's like Warhammer, right? But what did I see? Somebody said it was like Warhammer for when you're older. I see how I said older, not old, or when you're not a kid. I don't know much about it, but this is for... Bolt action, that's a game, right? Late 45, cool, look at all that. Tells you loads about it. I will just, uh, I'll just pause there. That was everything in the box. Just rearrange it and just have, I'll have a read of that in case there's anything interesting to tell you. So I'll be right back in a second. I'm back, as promised. I have had a flick through this little pamphlet. I love this pamphlet now. It's just getting better and better each month. I think I mentioned that last time. It tells you how many different ones you can get of each model so you sort of know what the set is if that is it yeah you know if you're a collector i'm a bit of a collector i like to know that sort of stuff so they've mentioned you know this is 
uh, a great way to either start a new army or expand on an army you already have. I have no bolt action. I put it back in the box now. I think it looks cool in the box. Oh, it also told you that they had to uh, improvise on because this was too big. I think they did pretty well. Uh, obviously, without reading this, I was a little bit confused by that those ten random models by themselves that didn't say anything. But it's you know it became apparent as soon as I saw this box. Now. I don't know if that's enough to play the game by itself. It says start an army, so I assume 10 men with spears aren't enough. I know Stephen plays bolt action. I'm sure a bunch of you have played it, so I expect somebody will let me know what's going on in the comments below. But that seemed really cool to me, like potentially getting a part of a, an entire game there. That's the first time, to me, I've got some models that I could play in something straight away. So pretty cool about that. Although, this just feel like cannon fodder. I don't want to lose, guys. I, I can see right here, this 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 battalion, they've all got machine guns. Like, why didn't I get this set? Why have I got the spear? I guess, look of the draw. But then if you play the game, you may well not have these guys. Or somebody's going to probably tell me that these are the best ones and they're overpowered or something. Anyway, the other one, I did get a better model. I prefer my Japanese soldier, but there was 18 of these ones. Nine of those ones available. Um, just tells you a little bit about him. Nothing, like, I don't know what he's for. It's useful. It did remind me, though, you know, sometimes I wonder, like, what am I going to do with all these models? But sometimes I need to practice painting stuff. You've, you've not seen it yet, but I've made a tutorial for painting camouflage, and I didn't actually have any soldiers. Hello. <laughs> like, now I've got some soldiers to paint camouflage with. I uh, look forward to seeing what I had to do to demonstrate that. Then the other thing is this GI Rocks. I forgot the fox has now got a name. He is Rocks the Fox, the model box fox. This is the second figure. Here's the army one, and that thing sticking out of his mouth was a cigar. That was so hard to tell, but see, it explains it here. I, I might have cut that off by mistake. Won't be the first time I've cut something off a model that was part of the model. Um, so I'm glad it tells you in here, and that's why I like. I know I bang on about that sometimes and say it's pretty exciting that they do a pamphlet, but it really helps when you don't know much. Like I've the number of times I asked you to leave a comment and let me know something. At least now I've got this. So, and then yeah, they just say. That those paints are to help you paint the you know the wartime paint the next month's box is lost do you think that's like the series i wasted 90 hours of my life on or it's maybe some of you like that did i misunderstand that that was the best series ever mm, controversial i had an opinion anyway if you like the look of this you want to give it a try i think well i don't think there will be a discount code in my description below i don't get anything for you guys backing this so there's no affiliation or anything like that but there's a 10 percent discount something like that if you're interested anyway i am going to go and uh work out what, what i can paint that fox for because i just i didn't know that i liked anim anim anamorphic somebody correct the word i didn't realize i like those sorts of uh men figures figures yeah but they're pretty cool anyway thank you all very much for watching and i'll be back on friday for my usual content a nice video if you're not subscribed do remember well or find out that i do a video every friday that's a painting tutorial the rest of the week you know i'm just mixing it up doing something a little bit more fun a little easier to film than sitting in front of a video camera for one to six hours hunched over trying to paint around it so this is this is fun for me to do some nice exciting content for me thank you